Hallelujah. The storm is over. It's over. You know, sometimes you feel as if uh, you're in the midst of a battle, like everything is coming to an end. But I want you to understand that the storm is over. Uh, you might have the feelings that you are still passing through the challenges and the oppositions. And, uh, a lot of things are still going on. They're not yet settled in your life. But I want to assure you that the storm is over. God is a faithful God. No matter how tight and difficult and painful the past years are, if you trust in God, if you trust in God and believe in God, the storm is over. The storm is over. You're not going to experience any one of those things again. You're not going to see them again. Mark my word. You know, that was why the Bible says, your weeping may endure it or last it till the night. But joy will come when the day breaks. When they breaks, you break through. Because God is involved in the journey of your life. Especially when you trust in him. Abinagogo, I see you. God bless you. Ibibai Kriko, that's my son. The son of the prophet. God has it and will never, he will never deny you or turn his back against you. You know why? He gave the only begotten son he had just because of you. He gave him away to be killed, to be slaughtered like a goat. And that is why you will understand that God will not allow you to be in the pain forever. There is a time and a season. There is a time and a season to come out of the pain. So God is not going to allow you to be in the pain forever. When that time comes, the Elohim, Adonai, will never allow a second to pass. He will bring you out of the pain. So don't, don't give up. I was on the pain, I was, I mean, I was on the mountain and God gave me some certain revelations. I saw four angels, four angels on the mountains of supernatural, aside of all the angels that I saw. The four angels, one was packing. And I asked, what are you packing? He said, he's packing the things that are passed away. He's packing them away. He's throwing them away. And I saw another one packing. I said, what are you packing? He said, he's packing the things of now. And I saw another angel that told what are you doing? What are you packing? He said, he's packing the things of tomorrow. And I asked the fourth one, what are you packing? He said, he's packing the things of next tomorrow. So there is an assignment God has given to every angel over you. The water you're drinking is divinely designed by God that you are going to drink water. God is not a fool. God is so perfect in everything. He's so perfect in everything he does. So he's not going to allow you to cry. Fatima Agada, I see you. Belema, God done. I see you. Lucy in Yerinda, I see you. Olawale Adigun. Wow, how are you? It's been a great time. Yeah. Is that Adigun, the one I met in Turkey? All seen essential, I see you. Faith, sweet faith, no carry over, and it is settled already. God is not going to allow you to carry over in anything. Anything you will not carry over. Anything. You are not going to carry over. So God is not true with you yet. He has prepared some sad things to, you know, to package your life. And no matter what 
enemy might do, they cannot stop you. When the children of Israel were in the land of Egypt, they thought it's going to be forever. No matter how long you have been in the courses, no matter how long you've been in the sit under the satanic manipulations, under bondage, God will bring you out. And that is why I want to tell you today that God is not true with you yet. Omodu Solomon, I see you, God bless you. God knew that you are passing through some phases and challenges and he has made a plan to bring you out. And one of the plans he has made is about the program we just concluded, no carry over. And now he has made another plan to bless you. That's about the plan of today. Irene, God, and I see you. Just me, Tabby, that's my son. God bless you. Lady and God bless you. I see you, Princess Doris. Who has shared the video? Let me see if I can just prophesy to two, three people. Then I shut down the video because I gotta go. Just came into church to have some short prayers. And, uh, you know, do one or two things because God is in charge of this place. And I want to bless you. Knew that I need to bless somebody. And you are the one I want to bless. <laughs> you know, just came back from the mountain of supernatural. Mm -hmm. So much power. So much annoying thing. So much grace. No carry over. Oh, God bless you, Brother Wally Babs. I see you today. How are you doing? The hand of the Lord is upon you. Love you so much. God bless you for joining us. I do allow, okay, God bless you. Ngozi, I'm not fully. That's my daughter. Yeah, Barry Jackson, that's my daughter. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Just me. Yeah, you are blessed too. How's your wife? Yeah, Jennifer, God bless you. Jennifer, God bless you. Oh, Golden Zika, that's my daughter. My runaway daughter. <laughs> mm. Who can I prophesy to now? I want to prophesy to somebody here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go the Zika. The Lord said I should tell you about Jenny. There is someone closer to you called Jenny. Who is that person? Someone called Jenny. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said you should wash out. It's not everyone that smile around you that loves you. It's not everyone that smile around you that loves you. That's why God said you should come down. Yeah, like something new. Something new is about to happen in your life. And uh, when the good things happen, that is when you will know your enemy because some people are definitely going to turn their back against you. Yeah, let me tell you that. Some people are going to turn their back against you. They turn their back against you. You know why? Because they hate. They don't want those things, those good things to happen to you. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, God. Yeah, Victor Osarobo Osaru. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. God said to me, they will definitely make another plan to strike. But God said to me that there is going to be a reign of judgment. Yeah, Osarobo. There is going to be a reign of judgment over your family. Now, when the reigns of judgment will fall, the people that their hands are clean will be preserved. But the people that are heathen and targeting your life and the life of the faithful people, they, are, will, be, they will be naked by the rain. And they will be exposed. Now, let me tell you this. There's going to be a rapid death in that family in the year 2021. The death is not going to kill the people that our hands are clean. But these are the people, the blood sucker, the wicked people, especially those that have been targeting your life for a very long time. Year 2021 is going to be their year of judgment because there's going to be a rain and there will be no place to escape. That's what the Lord said to me. No place to escape of that rain. The rain is going to be much on you, on you and on everybody in that family. But the rain is going to bless the good people. The rain is going to prosper the good people. But the rain is going to naked the wicked people, especially the blood sucker. And they will be exposed. And they'll, if they confess their sin and ask for mercy openly, they will be forgiven. But if they refuse, they will die with their heaven way. 
yeah there will be a second chance for everybody thank you holy spirit yeah thank you jesus thank you yeah acha acha i see a religion from background like an altar of a religion acha that is actually fighting the family yeah not only yours but the family entirely now this power is making some strange things to happen to some people actually are you flowing with me now those strange things are sudden sickness sudden attack on the finances bringing somebody that is already up down suddenly yeah the altar of a religion thank you jesus is what is doing it you know because uh, yeah because the altar is claiming the ownership of everybody in the family actually are you flowing with me when i'm prophesied to you because the prophetic need to respond You'll be responding back to me. You'll be responding back to me. Thank you, Jesus. Mazuta paya gaba robozun to prash karababa. Lekikuma mazuta pa olawali adigun. The Lord said to me that in the past year, there is always a time that in the year that your feet will be heavy. You can't move. Not physical feet. I'm talking about everything about your life will be kind of difficult to push. Yeah. So you decided to stay and it keeps you, it happens to you when the good things are coming, you are kind of discouraged, then, um, you know, kept stagnated because the feet is heavy. Now the Lord said to me that I will break the chains of the seasonal attack. That is called seasonal. Yeah. Are you fluent with me? Olawali Adigum. God called it seasonal attack. That is a seasonal attack that comes upon you. At a particular time in a year that makes your finances will be target the target it targets your finances it targets your health and everything yeah but god said this year he's going to do something you know why yeah that, that the source of that attack is a man now the lord said he's going to expose him and the lord said i am going to disgrace him and i am going to make him powerless and I will make a little hand to kill him. You can imagine that. That's what the Lord said to me. Yeah, you confirm it. God bless you. God said I should prophesy to your life and I should pray for you. So I pray for you today by the power of the Holy Ghost. That the agent of heaven that is always making your feet heavy at a particular season. And make your life frustrated and tired and everything that is coming to your life. It happens every year. God said he's not going to go with you into the new year in the name of Jesus. I don't know. Somebody is typing him very fast. God said, I shall announce to you that in the year 2021, the first three months shall be your first of planting. The three months you will be planting. So don't get tired of planting. The first month is like, oh, what am I doing? I'm planting. Everything you're doing is like you're planting. You're investing second month, third month. From third month to the end of 2021, you'll be investing. That's what the Lord said to me. Mm -hmm. Can I prophesy? Thank you. Let's go. I want to go deeper now. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mazutapa. Mazutapa. Is anybody under the sound of my voice that has someone called Medina? Medina. Medina. I'm hearing Medina. 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 Yeah, Madina, Madina. If anybody knows Madina, I want you to confirm to me quickly. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's your mother or your sister, but I see Madina. If you know that Madina, let me know quickly. I'm going to prophesy. There is something God is revealing to me. Jessica Ben, God is speaking concerning you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I see, I see, I see, mm, I see a stubborn power refusing to depart from the issue of your life. I see a stubborn power refusing to depart. And I see, oh my God, thank you, Holy Ghost. I see a bed and I see a cloth laid on it. And I see the cloth that is laid on that bed as a power. That makes you, each time you lie on it, it weaken your spirit. Because there is a power and a gift God gave you, Jessica Ben. That gift is when you wake up in the middle of the night, while you are meditating on your bed, everything you are thinking, 
you are praying about comes to manifestation gradually without any stress. But if you notice for the past about five, seven years ago, everything you meditate in your heart on the bed while you're sleeping doesn't come to pass again because there is a serious attack on your gift. Yeah, you confirm it. There is a serious attack on your gift because that is your strength. And what causes it? Mazutapa, Lakuma. I see a relationship. I see a kind of relationship with with, uh, mm, 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 with someone that has a wrong mother, a wrong mother, an evil mother. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah. But the Lord God said to me that I should pray for you, Jessica Ben. God is going to do, he said he's going to do something that is going to amaze you. Now, God said to me that he's going to make you fire because he's a consuming fire in himself. Now, when you lie down on bed, that even cloth has been laid, the cloth will caught fire. It will be burned down by the fire you carry. That's what the Lord is going to do for you, Jessica Ben. So I pray for you and I prophesy. And this has affected everything about your life, you know, everything. Your money, your document, your marital status, everything is affecting it. But I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost upon you, Jessica Ben. The root and the foundations of the evil power, I destroy it tonight by fire. I put a garment of fire upon you. Yeah, you are wearing fire. Any power that want to near you again, God of consuming fire will consume them. Now, Jessica Ben, after today, the moment we enter 15th of January, you will start to encounter some certain breakthrough in your life. Some certain breakthrough. Don't be amazed. Don't be surprised. They are what God has given to you today because it's going to take like 21 day, 15 to 21 day before you start seeing the manifestations because the grass, the grow in your garden has been withered, but the breath of life will come upon them. And within the 21 day, they will start producing fruit. It talks about your marriage, talks about your conceptions. Miracle will begin to happen. I see miracle. I see double favor coming to your way already in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Jessica. Ben. Still praying, still praying, still praying. Oh my God. Yeah. Who is Kenaleg Gosi? Yeah. God bless you. I see you. I see you. Kenaleg Gosi. I see your background. And I see you as a hope of the people. And I see you like someone that they are depending on. They are, a lot of people are looking up to you to bring something to help them to raise them up. But meanwhile, you are. You are so congested with so many ideas that is not working. So it's not working because uh, the power that is fighting your family concentrating on you because they knew that you have a good heart. You have a good heart. Yes, you have a good heart to help the people, but the resources is not there because they are fighting you because you have the good heart. And the Lord is saying that I have called you and I have chosen you. And I will bless you and I will empower you and I will grow, do great things in your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what the Lord said to me. And God said, I should pray for you. And once I pray for you, there is going to be the power of God is going to strike because of you. And when the power is striking, don't be moved because it's going to strike some of your loved one that you're not expecting that they are witches or wizards. Yeah. Some of your loved ones are going to be part of the people that are going to die. Because if they don't die, you cannot be fulfilled. So I'm going to pray for you. I don't know maybe I have your permission to pray. Yeah, if I have your permission, I'm going to pray that prayer quickly. Mimi Chibuzo Okoroji. You are black Florence. Than me, you are blessed. Mm -hmm. I, I can catering. God bless you. If you are watching me for the first time, you can tell me so that I'll be able to pick your name and uh, pray for you, welcome you, or probably prophesy to you. Okay, can the Lord goes he cares, goes going to say, said I should pray for him. Father, I thank you because I have no power of my own. I have no name of my own. I live by the name of Jesus. I conquer by the name of Jesus. 
I fight my battle with the name of Jesus. And I stand in the family right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I see a particular river that I have to cross before I enter your father's house. Yeah, I see a particular river. Mm. And the Lord shows me the spot in which they control the family from. I speak today by the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God, by the power of the Most High God, I command my Yogobazita Prash Karababa. I command as many people that are tormenting you because you are like a savior to the family. I cause them to die one after the other. I cause them to die one after the other. And I speak by the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God right now. There's going to be an arrest in the realm of the spirit. Yes, and God is going to destroy their power over your life. And you will begin to go back to the places where you fail. You will succeed. In the name of Jesus. The blessings of God is upon everyone washing me. The power of the Holy Spirit of God is upon everyone washing me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You see, when I'm praying for someone, I want all of you to be typing him. Because the prayer is not for that person. The prayer is for everybody. As many people that can connect. God bless you, Nijay Tome. Wow, you're washing me for the first time. The blessings of God is upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Nozakari, Jarvis Lawan, he said 2021 is my year of massive breakthrough. Yeah, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I want all of you to be typing what you want God to do for you or what you are going to be in 2021 because I want to prophesy. I want to prophesy. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit of God, I bless your holy name. I give you Lord glory and honor because you're worthy to be praised. I feel with so much unction here. The Lord says, someone is washing me right now. Your heart is kind of beating very fast. Be, 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 be. I want to put a stop to that. Every stone in the heart, in the kidney, I stop them now in the name of Jesus. I stop them. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is a stone there. God said, take it away. So I command that stone to dissolve it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. There is someone you are having some symptoms, and they said it's a symptom of cancer. It is not. You, if you are under the sound of my voice, get a glass cup of water. I want to pray and cancel the cancer. It is not your portion. In the name of Jesus, it is not your portion. Cancer is not your portion. Mm. Oh, Barry Justin said, My life was sweet as honey. I love that. And so shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Destiny Smith, you said your heart is going very fast. That's good. Now, Destiny Smith, I want you to understand that sometimes when your heart is very heated, somebody is trying to stab you there, uh, but God is protecting you. So I command right now that agent of heaven that want to stab your heart, die in the name of Jesus. Under 24 hours, you will call me and confirm. I'm a prophet. Is there anything I tell you here, anything I do here is real. Princess Dory said, I will be a millionaire. So shall it be for you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, cheese boy, cheese boy. You want your document? It is released in the name of Jesus. Cheese boy, the Lord said I should tell you to sow a seed. To sow a seed. And that seed would be, I sow this seed to cancel the causes of my family upon my life. Yeah, cheese boy, madu, sow a seed. That's what the Lord said to me. He says, tell him to sow a seed. And tell him to sow the seed that I cancel. Yeah, when you say that, the causes of my family upon my life, that's what the Lord said. As soon as you do that, I prophesy everything, not only your document, everything will be released in your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Balogun Oladipo Teslim, first time I pray for you from the foundations of your life. Every power of stagnation, I break it today. I break it. I break that power of stagnations in the family. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. From today, it will not keep you stagnated. And your face shall be open to your destiny helper. Your face shall be open to your destiny helper. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mazutapa. Olawali Adigun, I think I've prophesied to you. Everyone I prophesied to, Mazu, Mazu. Your 2021 is my year of supernatural turnaround, breakthrough. Uh, Jessica Ben, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. I want God to grant me all my heart desire. So shall it be for you, David. Make 
David make, David make. God, I need your presence. This story is going to give you Uguanyi, is the Kenny. God is going to give you his presence. His presence will be with you. My 18 years footballer son, we have club in first half of 2021. Is a because you have pronounced it, I command that so shall it be in the name of Jesus. If we have a new club in the first half, according to your desire, I grant it in the name of Jesus. And make sure you tell your son to be faithful to God in his tight so that they will not kick him out. Thank you, Jesus. Jessica Ben. Uh, the blessings of God is upon every one of you. You are still in, I want to prophesy, but oh my God, I want to prophesy. I want to prophesy. You see, let me tell you, one thing about the true prophet is this, we don't struggle to prophesy. Can you see me drinking juice in a very easy because it's a gift. It's a gift that God gave me from heaven before I was born, in my, before I was planted in my mother's womb. It's a gift. I don't learn it. I don't study it. I don't have to imitate anybody. Nobody have to raise me as a prophet. God did. That was why all the journey of 40 days, I couldn't die because he called me as a prophet. Counterfeit prophet cannot do 40 days. They will die in it. Yeah. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. I speak and I prophesy upon every one of you under the sound of a voice. Your destiny is taking a new turn around. Your career is taking a new turn around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yachidima. Ejim Keunye. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Mazu Tapa. Yeah. Gadaski Madufuru. Agada. The Lord said to me, I should tell you, that you are going to enter into a covenant with him in year 2021. And that covenant, you must have a stable sacrifice, monthly or weekly or two weeks interval, that you are going to be laying on the altar of GGI. The Lord said he will stand by that covenant and he will heal you and he will make you to live sound health throughout the year. That's what the Lord said to me. He said, you can only achieve your sound health by covenant. Covenant giving. The Lord will grant you understanding and proficiency to do that in the name of Jesus. Yeah, God bless every one of you. I have to go home now. I'm still in the church doing one or two prayers and combining some things together, preparing for my myself for tomorrow, the last day in the year 2021, I mean 2020, and uh, so that I can round up in time, get home, and go online to minister to all the people all over the world. Tomorrow is going to be a, a powerful prophetic service, maybe like three, four hours. I'm going to be with you, and I'm going to prophesy deeper. Yeah, if I get home tonight, and God still give me more strength, I will come back online to speak to you and to prophesy to your life. I love all of you, especially the obedient children among you. You are so special. God bless you. God be with you. And I'm very sure, and I want to assure you one more time, that no, cra no carry over. I want to pray with you while I ring the bell of prayer. And I believe that you are going to be typing your amen. You are going to be typing your amen very fast. Thank you, Jesus. There is a woman on coma. There's a woman on coma. As I ring this bell, that woman is going to wake up in the name of Jesus. There is a woman on coma. Right now, wherever she is, I prophesy unto her. As I'm, praying, as I'm playing this bell, there will be a miracle. She is going to wake up. Instantly, she is going to wake up by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. She is going to wake up and she is going to... Aha. Uh -huh, She's going to hear the sound of my bell wherever she is right now. Thank you, Jesus. Abigail, wake up. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I command you, Abigail, yeah, Iguma, Okeji, wake up in the name of Jesus. Wake up. Hear the sound of my bell wherever you are right now. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon everyone the sound of my voice that I hear the sound of the bell everything that is dead in you come back to life
chains are broken, you're bound and loose. No stranger will go with you into 2021. It shall be a year of blissful joy, abundance. of Jesus. God is not going to allow anyone to oppress you in 2021. The chains are broken. You're bound and loose in the name of Jesus. Every occultist power are damaged in your life. Every evil they've sold to your life, I uphold them. Those that are sick as your sickness, hear the sound of a voice, they jump out of you and they run into the bottomless pit and they never come back again. Of poverty in your life. I destroy the power of wretchedness and hatred in your destiny. I break the chains of limitation and the chains of stagnation in your life. I call forth your marriage. I call forth your prosperity. I command miracle money to locate you. I command conception and safe delivery. I cancel your death in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. God bless every one of you. How many people that have shared the video? Everyone will share your miracle to you. How many people that have typed amen? You are proof of the miracle. Congratulations. My name is Michael Fakuride. I'm a prophet uh, to nations and I'm called prophetic origin. God has blessed you this generation with me. He has used me to bless you. I'm a blessing to you. Congratulations. And I love you all. Share the video seven more times. Before you go to bed, and make sure tonight get ready because God is going to speak a word to you. No carry home. I love you and always pray for you. Congratulations. God bless you.